Welcome to Expo Magic Trick number 529. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Expo Magic Trick 524 to 530. In this video here, we want to count the number of transactions within the last seven days. So count last seven days, including today, whatever today is. So if today is the 24th, we need to count that. First, let's look at the today function equals today. Since we want this to be dynamic, every day we come in, we want to just have it know the last seven days. We use today, argumentless function. It'll always put today's date. Tomorrow will be the 24th. Then from that, we want to subtract 7. That'll give us the 17th. Now, the 17th is not going to be included in our calculation because uh, that would give us eight days. But anyway, we'll use that date in our formula. Now there's two criteria. When we're looking over here, whatever we find here has to be greater than that date. That's the first criteria in this column. And the second uh, criteria, we look through this column and say, is it equal to that? We'll start out with some product. That This formula can be used in any version. Just a moment, we'll look at a great count ifs function. Uh, and we're going to have a series of trues and falses in these two arrays, and these arrays will be multiplied, but true, true times true won't come out with some product, so we have to, unless you multiply, but we're going to use the comma to separate the arguments, so we're going to have to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. We'll do it with double negative. Highlight this range, control shift down, or I'm going to hit F4. And I'm going to say, hey, anything in that range that is greater than this cell right here. And then F4. That's the first array of ones and zeros, because we have the double negative, comma, double negative, open parentheses, and the second column, F4. And that has to be equal to this one right here. And that's also F4 to lock. And I'm going to copy it down one. Uh, close parentheses on that second series of trues and falses, which will give us our ones and zeros. The uh, ones and zeros here will be multiplied by the ones and zeros, and only when there's one times one will we get a count, and then some will add the four times it found a match. All right, now let's copy this down here. If you don't want this criteria in your spreadsheet, no problem. We just need to adjust this right here. This is where this date is, and this date was made with today argumentless function minus this 7. I hit F4, just we're not copying this anywhere, but there we go. So there we put it right into the formula. So there we go, and then Control Enter. That will work just fine. Now let's see how to do it with count ifs. If you have huge data sets, although this is the fastest, uh, the double negative construction with uh, commas. If you have huge data sets, that'll be um, very fast in earlier versions. But we can get even faster calculating for huge data sets if we use the count ifs. Count ifs is great. It's similar to count if, except for that you can have uh, more than one criteria. All right, our criteria range one, we'll say bloop, that one right there. Control shift down arrow F4. I hit F5. <laughs> F4. I'm going to click escape and make this just a little bit smaller here. Yeah, 100 cent, that's OK. Equals count ifs. In the criteria range, we'll say our date, control shift down arrow F4 comma. And now, our criteria has to not be compared directly to the range like with uh, some product. We're going to m construct a separate criteria in double quotes greater than, in double quotes, ampersand today minus this one right here. And that's the criteria, right? You have to combine. That has to be text. And then you have to ampersand. That's the join symbol, Shift 7, and then that little construction right there. I might as well. We're not going to copy this anywhere, so we do not need to, to lock these. I didn't need to lock these. All right, and then comma. And then we have to list our second criteria range, Brrrp. comma, and the criteria. Second criteria, and it says it right there, close parentheses, control, enter. So if we change this to uh, product 2, 
we should get to two. We can also change this, right? Because all our formulas are connected to that cell, which is very good. So if I say five, does it look like there are no product twos? But if we go back to seven or product one, we get our same four. Let's say last two days should be just one, just one right here. All right, um, counting records where the la over the last seven days or whatever number of days you choose. All right, we'll see you next trick.